What's up guys, Dennis here. I'm gonna do a quick video for you. I'm actually out here in a little park by my house. Um, and I was gonna do a video here anyway, but uh, just came out here to, to meditate and just take in nature and be around good good uh, vibrations and frequencies, that sort of thing. But um, for those of you who don't know, I'm really big into like law of attraction, manifestation, uh, signs from the universe and that sort of thing. Um, and so, I thought it was crazy. I just want to do a quick little video. And so, um, I'm actually here sitting on a bench in this little pathway. It's like a trail. And so, um, about five minutes ago, um, I'm just here, just chilling, laying back, looking at the trees and stuff. And I was posting up an Instagram post. And not 30 seconds after that, uh, I hear someone kind of coming across this little bend right here. Let me see if I can show you, actually. That little bend right there. So I can't tell who they are because it's around the corner. But I hear them playing what sounds like, like Jesus music or like religious music, spiritual music, whatever you would call it. Um, and then I felt like wh whoever it was, I couldn't see how many people, who they were, what they looked like until they came around the corner. But I felt like they were going to tell me something. Like I, like I was like, these people are going to come up to me. Like I just knew it. And as soon as they come around the corner, there's a, a, a man, a woman, and a little child. The child's probably like three years old. And I'm assuming there were a couple, the, the man and the woman. So she comes up to me and she says, this is for you, right? Um, and I, there was like a, a pause in my, in my mind because I was like, is it for me? Because like, like I really realized this is a, something was happening here. Like this was for me. It was like a, a, a personal message. Like, this is for you. Right, and so she hands me this. I'm assuming the kid made this at some point, right? It's like clouds, a lady here with what seems like a, maybe a halo or something around her head. It says, I loves you. There's like a little house and a road and some trees and I'm not sure what that thing is down there. Maybe a bush or something. And I thought that was very, very uh, interesting. <laughs> the synchronicities in life. Um, and these are things that that happen much more frequently when you understand how the universe works. And I could go off to a whole tangent and I'm gonna probably do a follow up video to this in a setting that's a little bit more comfortable because I think the park is gonna close in a little bit. But I thought that was really, really, really interesting and cool and not surprising. And it gets to the point where, where this is kind of the lifestyle you live, the things you believe in and expectations you have, they will, these synchronicities will happen much more often and they're you're expecting them so you're not even that surprised when they happen but you know that when they do happen it's because of what you've been visualizing what you've been meditating on their vibrations that you've had and been putting out there regularly and the universe conspires to work with you to show you signs that are meaningless to other people or just a coincidence to other people but you know exactly where they're coming from and the message is tailored and designed for you at specific times um, and that may mean something to you m more than in, 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 in any other time. And so it's interesting, and I don't know exactly what that means, but I do know that it's not by accident, um, and it's another synchronicity, and these things happen much more frequently when you live that lifestyle. Um, it's you communicating with the universe, right? Um, and I'll go into this in a whole other video, but there's a power in working with the universe and the universe wants to give you what you want but we do these things that keep it from us and so we live a life where all we're doing is 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 trying to physically change matter trying to brute force our ways into the world and trying to create right when you can see this and i want you to see this it's all these trees right here all this nature all that stuff plus all the nature you see is creative energy in motion in play right man didn't have to touch any of this stuff to create that and so you can harness what's called the power that creates worlds the energy that's always flowing and you can vibrate with it and get to the point where you're working with the universe and you're no longer struggling or trying to create and force things to happen on a physical level, on a physical plane, you trying to do everything yourself. It's up to you to think everything, analyze everything, fix every problem, put everything in place, put all the puzzle pieces in place for things to happen. That's a, that's a hard life. That's a struggle 
it's a, it's a life full of struggle because it's all on you, right? And the world and everything around you is much more bigger than you. But when you leverage the universe and the power of the universe and manifestation and vibrations and frequencies, the world plays with you to teach you certain things or put some things in position that you would have never been able to do otherwise, no matter how much work you would have put into it. And so I don't want to make a huge video now. I'll probably jump in the car and continue the, the, the topic. But I um, just thought that was interesting and I wanted to make the video right when it happened and um, capture that synchronistic, very interesting moment that seemed like a custom message for me, which is pretty, pretty interesting. But this is why I'm out here in nature. Um, it's important. This is, this, is, this is what I consider real life. We live in a world that everything is man-made and our entire reality is man-made, even down to our programming. And so this is a reset. And so I advise you, if you're not that type of person, to integrate uh, nature into your life in some capacity, um, to reset and, and, and give you the proper perspective on life. Um, and you can see what's really important and what's really out there compared to just living inside of four walls, mental walls, the constraints of your own home, the constraints of your job, the constraints of your car, the constraints of all the human man-made problems. You can step out of that and see, hey, look, there's another world that exists out here and open your mind and have a greater perspective of what's out there and what you can utilize to work with you. And you can see what's really important in life, what you should be pursuing. Um, and I've, I've made a video on this before, but I'll say this just to wrap up the video. Man makes lots of solutions, but they're solutions to man-made problems. And so when you're living in a very physical plane of a very human world, you, you take on all those problems that you don't need to have. And stepping away from that opens your mind and gives you the space to see the clarity, to get the clarity that you need to see what's really important out there. It's not all these man-made problems. I don't need all these things, all these materialistic things, all these, all these artificial things to, to find my happiness and my joy. And so for me, nature is one of those things. I've always been drawn to nature, and now this is me kind of integrating that more into my life. That was one of my goals for this year. Um, and I'll be doing that a lot more. Um, and just getting out there, camping, fishing, you know, jogging, bike riding, maybe mountain climbing, uh, anything outside, you know, growing food and all that stuff and getting into that place of like the foundation, how, how ancient people lived, how our, our, our foundation was built, was living off the land and just being out in nature, getting, uh, you know, real sun, not artificial light all day, not being in a, in a car all day and, 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 and struggling and being in, in traffic and annoyed and all that stuff. All that stuff messes up your energy and your vibrations and the whole world works off of energy, frequency, and vibration. So I'll jump in the car and continue the video, but uh, I'll see you in a little bit. What's up, guys? I decided to uh, continue the video out here instead of doing it in the car. Um, I don't want to be too far from the car because it's close at, at uh, sundown, the park. So I just want to show you something. It's dope, right? So this is just the outside area, like kind of the, the parking lot area. The rest of the stuff is, uh, I'll probably take you guys for a walk with me. But that's one of the trails over there. One of the entrances at least. Make sure I'm pointing at the right place. Um, I'll take you guys with me over here. But uh, I wanted to continue the video and, uh, on the topic of synchronicities and uh, and that sort of thing, right? Um, am I overexposed? A little bit. Let me see. Give me a second. That's probably better. Um, okay, so I want to continue the topic on synchronicities and manifestations, right? I love this topic. This is what I believe the whole world <laughs> should be running on, to be honest with you. Um, and so, what I've learned, what I've come to learn recently, is that as humans, our default reaction, our default approach, and this comes from like watching others and being taught to work hard and, and everything is on you and grind and no sleep and all that other shit, right? 
and there's a value to working hard. I don't want, I don't, I don't want to discount that, but the point is, when it's all you, all on you, I got to figure it out. I got to solve the problems. I got to make the money. I have to take care of everything and everyone, right? I have to make moves. I can't sleep. I have to grind. Da, 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 da. And you do this for your entire life. Chances are, I don't know how old you are if you're watching this video, but chances are if you're watching this video, you're old enough to have done a certain amount of work and have thought a certain way, have certain belief patterns for a decent amount of time, probably several years at least. So you have enough data to see if that's working for you. And I've, 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 I've done that level of reflection myself. But um, here's the thing. Here's the thing. All that is, and Joe Dispenza, um, he describes it this way. It's matter trying to change matter. Matter trying to change matter. So you're trying to brute force your way to success, right? And I could talk about this for days and days. But this has been my, 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 my experience with that. Typically, it doesn't work. It burns you out. And you ultimately feel like there has to be an easier and a better, more efficient, smarter way of doing things. Right? In terms of manifestation, in terms of manifestation, right? I, I'm no pastor or Bible expert, and I would never claim to be. But what I enjoy doing and learning about is how verses and concepts and parables and stories in the Bible and teachings in the Bible and any other religious text for that matter apply to today's world. And I enjoy the, the learnings and the teachings and the, and the, the parallels between that, those time periods and how those things apply now, right? And in the Bible, what I found to be very interesting is that uh, it actually says, where Jesus said this, that those, those that have will be given more, and those who have little, even the little they have will be taken away. And how crazy does that sound? Even the little that they have will be taken away. That sounds unfair, it sounds kind of messed up, right? But how does that tie into manifestation? How does that tie into manifestation? How does that tie into today's world? In my opinion, and in my little research that I've done and the videos that I watch and the people that I follow, that applies 100% to manifestation. To me, that's Jesus saying, if you have, you will be given more. So what does that mean? That means that you have to have abundance you have to feel like you have the it, all you have to do is look at the people in your life there are people you know that that are always struggling right they always have lack they never have enough they're always complaining their life is always in shambles their their patterns and habits are terrible and you can see reasons why they have issues and why they have lack even the little they have will be taken away because they don't know what they have. They don't feel abundant. All they ever known is not having. And how crazy is that? When all you know is not having, how can you change anything? And the worst part is if you don't know that you're doing that, you can't change it. So awareness and, and consciousness are everything. And so the key is to feel abundant. Feeling abundant. Feeling like you have because then you'll be given more. That could be gratitude and appreciation. That could be understanding the, the things that you do actually have, the victories that you have in your life, you know. And it starts there. You attract not what you need or what you want. You attract how you feel. How, how would you feel if you had the things that you desire? How would you feel? The key is to live and act as if. Because here's the thing, if you've had lack in your life for a long time, chances are you know exactly what that feels like and you've got that down to a science. It's almost a default, it's almost a default behavior pattern and thought process, right? You know exactly what that feels like. It's all you ever recognize, it's all you see and you feel like you can never escape it. You know exactly what that feels like. But let me follow that up with, do you know what it feels like to have the things 
that you're working for, the things that you've wanted for, for years. Do you know what it feels like? And I can guarantee you that the answer is no. And you're, gonna, you're probably gonna ask, how could I know what that feels like if I don't have it? See, that's, that's, that's the problem right there. That's it. And this is something that I've learned. You cannot wait until you have the things that you want or you're working for to feel the way that you would if you had them. Because here's the thing, then you're living a conditional life. You're living a conditional life. Meaning that as long as I don't have the things that I want, I'm gonna feel miserable. And only if and when I get those things, then I'll be happy. That's almost like a child, right? It's miserable unless they have a toy and then they get the toy and then they're miserable again because they want another toy. Think about that. This is the key. When you feel like you have, you will get more. When you don't have anything and you have lack, you will get more lack because the universe operates off of frequencies resonance vibrations energy the entire world was created by energy energy the reason why we eat is because we need energy we need energy for everything that we do on this planet and the universe was created by energy and responds to you with energy you've been around people that you can tell their vibrations are off that's what the word vibe I, I'm not I'm not vibing with this place I don't vibe with these people I get bad vibes vibrations you can pick up vibrations on your emotions are your guidance system that allows you to pick up if you're in the right place or not right it allows you to pick up if you're around around the wrong people i don't get a good vibe from this person i'm gonna get out of here i don't like this place i'm gonna get out of here because it's not vibrating at the level you are so in order for you to manifest in order for you to have synchronicities in order for you to work directly with the universe and have the universe talk back to you and show you signs about your progress and where you are you have to raise your vibration. Every single morning, I do this religiously, at least once a day. Number one, I meditate. I meditate, and as I could, I could talk for weeks on why meditation is important. But in how it relates to this video, meditation is key because it gives you the opportunity to, to sit down and to start reprogramming yourself so that you can sit down and visualize what it would feel like vividly to have those things you want it's not about just sitting around and just wishing everybody can wish if if it's easy to do and everyone's doing it it's probably the wrong thing to do or they're doing it the wrong way that's how you know everyone wishes everyone wants but how many people get what they want not not that many here's the deal you you sit down every morning and the morning is best because it's quiet you've just woken up you're not distracted by all the stuff and all the thoughts that are about to take your mind over and work and all the traffic and all that stuff right here's the thing you want to sit down and you want to close your eyes close the door get into a place where no one is around and won't be there for another 30 minutes at least right and you don't have to meditate that long but I, I do but you will learn to want to do it that long because you'll you enjoy where you're at when you're doing it and so you're not trying to rush it the thoughts are gonna come up into your mind and that's normal Right, you know, just let them come through and keep going. Let them, let them, let them run through, and settle your mind and start visualizing exactly what you want. If it's a relationship, right? If you're, a, if you're, a, let's say you're a woman, right? You're looking for someone that's uh, for a significant other, right? You're looking for a, a, a committed relationship. Visualize what you want that man to look like. How does he sound? How does he dress? How, what kind of cologne does he wear? right how is he with with your friends and your family is does he like does he like children what does he do for work what are his hobbies and interests you know if you like cooking can you see him being in the kitchen with you and you guys are cooking cooking regularly and preparing meals for each other or together meal planning and doing that kind of thing vividly with detail and what that's gonna do is giving your mind a picture for the first time that you've ever put it there because you, you up until now you already know what it looks like and what it feels like to not have so you've been not having for your entire life or as long as you've been wanting whatever it is that's the subject, right? But for the first time, you're going to sit down intentionally and give your mind a picture of exactly what you're looking for and how you want it to the detail with no compromise. Vividly, in detail, how you want it. And you're picturing these things. 
you know, you're in a conversation with someone and you're in a, let's say you're in a vacation with this person, right? And you're laying on the beach together and you look over, you can see them, how are they going to look? Like vividly and you go through an entire story, it's like a movie. And now for the first time, you're putting in your mind what you want. But not only that, your body now starts to feel. Feel is, is, is the key here. It's going to start feeling because you're, you're thinking about it. And thoughts create emotions. And then emotions drive the thoughts, right? And it's a cycle. You want to vividly imagine what those things are going to look like and how it's going to feel to have them. And now for the first time, you know exactly what it feels like to have that, what a difference, right? Up until now, all you've known is lack and frustration, right? There's a, there's a saying that the man with the hungry face does not get fed, right? There's people that are homeless, thousands of people that are homeless. They need the roof over their head and food and water more than we do, yet they're homeless and they get the least. Just wanting does not mean you're going to get it. Just needing doesn't mean you're going to get it. When you have, people want to give you more. Why do people do business with people that are already successful? They don't want to help you when you're trying to build your business. Once your business is already doing well, then they want to come and support because it's less risky for them, but they want to be associated with something that's going to, is more likely to work or bring value or make them look good or whatever the case may be, right? As long as you're thirsty and, and desperate for what you want, that is not an energy that people want to just, oh, he needs, that's, a, that's, that's desperation and nothing good comes from desperation. Give your mind and the universe what it feels like, what it feels like to, to have. And you're gonna, you're gonna realize that when you're meditating, you're gonna start smiling because it feels so real. And you'd be like, wow, this is crazy. And what people do, which is natural, is that we like to wait. When I get that job, I'll feel great. Well then if the, if the purpose, here's the thing. The only reason why you want whatever it is that you're saying that you want is because you believe that in the having of it, you will feel better. So if the goal is to feel better, why not start with that first? I learned that from Abraham Hicks, which I highly, highly recommend you follow. This is the key. This is the key. Your emotions are your guidance system. Every time you feel negative, cut that out. Just cut it. Stop thinking about whatever it is. If you're in a situation or you're with someone, cut it and, and leave. You're literally attracting by how you feel. That is how you attract, with how you feel. You think first, now you know exactly what you want, meditate on it, and the universe is going to show you different signs and put things in place for you, for your benefit that you could not have put there otherwise by yourself by trying to change and force matter. Everyone has already attempted this and is going to continue to going this way, trying to make everything happen by themselves. You are not leveraging the power of God or the universe or whatever you want to call it. You're trying to do it all on your own. And when you try to do it on your own, it's difficult because the world is much bigger than you. You're not leveraging the power that creates worlds. This is key. And you'll find synchronicities that you cannot explain away. You will learn to no longer look at things as coincidences because they're happening too often and they're too specific. And they're, and they're things that you've been attentive to that have to do with what you've been meditating on. This is important. This is, this is big stuff here. This is, this is big boy stuff here. This is key. Committing to realizing, okay, I've been struggling because I've been doing everything this way. I've believed in these things for this long and it's not actually working that way. It's, it's not how I thought it was going to be. Of course, I just knocked down my, my microphone. Give me one second, guys. I'm all hype. It's freaking hot out here. <laughs> But um, this is important stuff. This is important stuff. This is how you, you, you take control of your emotions and your thoughts. Instead of living your life at the, as a victim to your own thoughts and your own mind and your own behaviors, this is where you start to pick up on your real power. Your real power. Once you start doing this, I'm going to tell you what's going to end up happening. This is... It depends on how you interpret this, but this is where you start realizing your own power, your own spirituality, your own God-given power, right? And I, again, I'm not religious. I'm not, I don't consider myself religious. But if you at all believe in some level of higher power, right, and you were made in an image of a higher power, then you should have powers. You should have the ability 
to influence things, right? You should have a higher power. And I believe that, and I believe that this is the beginning to it. When you can realize for yourself and see for yourself on a personal level with your own experiences of what you're able to create, not out of hammering a nail into the ground, no, no, out of creating with your mind and your emotions and then feeling what it's like to have and living your days like that where it becomes a lifestyle. What ends up happening is now you have abundance. Now you feel great, right? And things start coming to you. Things start coming to you that you could not have made happen on your own or otherwise. You're gonna be like, this is ridiculous. How did this happen? Who said this? And I've had several. And at times when I'm not meditating and doing that, it's dead silent. When I'm meditating and consistent, I'm on top of that stuff, things start happening. It could happen as, as fast as today. Or tomorrow and the key is to then look for the signs once you realize that you you've been consistent and you've been on it the key is to then look for the signs and you're gonna be like whoa that cannot be a coincidence right crazy things start happening that you can't explain away and there's a power to this I'm telling you there's a power to this things will start falling into place and, and resources will start coming in because the universe is trying to bring things together, bring people in your life and make things happen. And you have the eyes to see the purpose of the puzzle pieces, the people that come in, the people that come out, why, you, oh, maybe you lost your job, but then you ended up getting a way better job and now you're happy and you're glad that that happened, which you would have never done if you were, you know, content at where you were. Things are happening that are designed to put you where you want to be. If you want a new job, visualize that. Man, I'm doing really good in the conversations that you're having with people. Being able to save money or pay, pay things off more quickly or go on vacation or buy stuff that you've always wanted. Start visualizing that because you'll be giving your mind and the universe the picture of what it feels like and what it looks like to have what you want compared to only ever having the emotions and the picture in your mind of what it feels like to not have. That is key, that is key. And just wait and look for the signs. And then and work, towards, work towards the direction of what you're, what you're working for, but realize that if you're working too hard and you're struggling, you're doing it wrong. Because it's not supposed to be difficult. That should be a sign. And when it's difficult, I'm doing it wrong. This doesn't feel good. It's supposed to feel good. You'll have divine inspiration. Divine inspiration, right? It was weird the other day, this was probably two weeks ago, I was at a, I was at um, I was at work. I no longer work there, but um, and I was gonna gra grab lunch. It was like a Publix or something. Yeah, it was Publix. I was gonna grab a sub. I'm like, man, I think I'll grab a sub. And something told me, you're gonna run into someone. You're gonna run into someone. And I'm like, okay. And then I kind of just kind of continued working. And then the thought came back into my mind, like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go get food. I'm hungry now now is the time something told me like now go now and i'm okay i just grabbed my keys didn't think about it much went outside actually before i went outside i went to the uh i went to the bathroom and i remember while i was washing my hands i'm uh i'm like thinking like am i taking more time by, by, by me being in the bathroom right now is that gonna stop the ability of running into this person or and, I, and then i caught myself and i'm like no this is part of the timing the divine timing of things right does it matter how, how long I spend in this bathroom when I get out it's gonna be part of the whole process and so I go and I get into the car I'm drive there and then I do a couple laps looking for, for for parking and then I come out I get out of the car and I'm walking up and as I'm walking out I run into a guy that I'd known uh, a long time ago and we don't really stay in communication or anything and I don't know what the divine part of that is but it was someone I hadn't seen in years that I had worked with in the past cool dude and instantly when I saw him coming out and I'm walking up, instantly I was like, this is, I don't know what this means, but this is exactly, I was supposed to run into this person. This, is, this was supposed to happen, right? And, and maybe there's a level of, of time that has to pass for things to unfold, but it was like, there it is, right? And the entire time from when I was sitting in my seat, I knew somebody, I was gonna run into someone, and I don't know why. Right? I don't know why. I don't know what the importance of that is. But we'll wait and see. But it was interesting that I felt like I was going to run into someone. And the timing of everything planned out the way it needed to. If I had just done one more lap around or picked any other parking spot, 
I would have not. It would have been any any difference, plus or minus three, four seconds, I wouldn't have run into him. What was the purpose of that? I don't know. But the divine timing of it is not is unmistakable, right? And these things just happen regularly. And you start feeling things. Uh, like 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 the world's telling you something or something's about to happen. You're like, uh, I feel like something's gonna happen right now for me specifically, and now you're communicating, and it's awesome because it, it ties you into something greater than you, and it confirms for those who are spiritual that we are not just human, and that we could have a connection to something greater, a, a universe, a, a source, a spirituality, um, a creator, right? Where it's telling you stuff and it's, and it's working in your favor. I automatically believe that whether I understand something or not, whatever happens is works in my favor. I believe that 100%. And I've heard it put this way and I've said it in other videos. Wayne Dyer has said this. No one knows enough to be a pessimist. There are things happening at every, every second of the day that you have no clue are happening. And they're happening for you. However, you have to make sure that you are attracting those things. And the way that you attract the right things is by meditating and by keeping your vibrations high. Your emotions are your guidance system. If you feel like crap, you feel negative, or you're complaining, or you're around people that are knocking you down, you go, nope, I'm out of here. Like the job that I just left, I left because of the environment. Because I realized how important my emotions are and my mental health and my, my point of attraction that I can't allow a stupid job to mess with that. Because what I'm working on is more important than any job I will ever have. And so my point of attraction is more important than any environment or any amount of money. And so you start living this life and you feel great. Look, I'm, I'm free right now. It's Monday. People are getting ready for work tomorrow and I'm not. I'm out here doing what I want to do. I'm out here in nature, meditating. I came out here specifically to meditate and to be in nature. That's it. I didn't even meditate this morning on purpose because I knew I was coming here, right? And I could do this and tomorrow I'll do it again and do it again and do it again and do all my stuff and work on my content and do all the things that are important to me because that feels right and that's in, in, in alignment with what I'm trying to do and I believe that the universe is going to put things in place to allow me to live the lifestyle that I want because I tried doing it the hard way and it doesn't work. When you try to change matter, using matter, you just, you, you, anyone, anyone can grab a sledgehammer and get into a house by beating the side of the house and creating a hole. Anyone can do it. Anyone. It just matters how long and how much work you're going to put into it, right? Eventually, you'll break in through that side of the wall. But letting the universe work for you, that's like finding the door. You can struggle if you think it's all on you. But when, you're, when your emotions are messed up and your, your, your vibrations are messed up and you're not in a good mood and you're not feeling great and you're not feeling abundant and you're not feeling at peace, you know you're attracting something that's, that you don't want. And you have to take responsibility for that too. When you, when you bring things into your life that you don't want, sometimes that's because of you, right? You attracted something you didn't want by thinking things and feeling certain ways. And I think that's what creates diseases and, and messes people up and why people get into drugs and all that, all that stuff. Because they don't know the truth. And that we have power. We have powers to create our own reality. And we can do that. And... The goal is to spread that message. And so we'll see what else happens for the rest of the day. But I'm going to go home and uh, maybe watch me a movie, cook me a meal. And uh, probably actually go home and work out. I haven't worked out today. So hope you enjoyed that. It was a pretty long one. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. DC.